So 2.5, nice question here. Uh, refer to the extract below on catchment and river management. So management of catchment areas and river networks uh, systems. Okay, look, so feel free to pause the video, have a good read through the text, read it for meaning, and let's head straight into the questions. Okay, feel free to pause the video now. Okay, did you pause the video? Did you? You sure? Okay, let's get straight into the questions. Look, I like to make the videos short and sweet, kind of like you. If you're told that, uh, yeah, that that doesn't make any sense. Look, let's just get straight into it. So, river management, first things first. Um, monitoring and controlling of water sources in a basin or catchment area. So, in other words, monitoring and controlling. Okay, first on uh, of water resources in a in a basin or in a catchment area. Area. Uh, two point five point two. Name one human activity in the extract that has a negative impact on South Africa's catchment areas one human activity feel free to pause the video again and look for it big answer here boom 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 agricultural activities or just in other words agriculture uh, a rather negative impact okay agricultural activities typically for the intention of like profit making and yeah it's gonna devastate catchment areas 2.5.3 how does the human activity, so your answer in 2.5.2, so look, if, if you didn't get this answer, you're a little bit cooked here, my friend, uh, negatively impact the health or water quality, quality, quality of a catchment area. Okay, so 2.5.3, we need to give two points here that are relatively well explained. Um, so it causes a reduction in oxygen levels. So oxygen levels go down. There's a nice fancy, fancy word for it, okay? If you knew what it was, it's gonna get all those tannies in the exam center marking your paper. Like they're gonna be so gassed. It is eutrophication. Eutrophication. Uh, next, um, perhaps an imbalance in nutrient levels in the water. So that's a bit of a problem. So nutrient levels, just imbalanced. Uh, and other things like a reduction in, look, just some, some free answers here, a reduction in biodiversity and also a reduction in just fauna and flora, like animals and plants, basically. Fauna and flora. If I have kids, I'm gonna call them, like if, if, if I have two, first one fauna, second one flora, because I love geography so much. That's a joke or is it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it is. Okay, 2.5.4. So um, nice paragraph question here. So in a paragraph of approximately eight lines, suggest sustainable strategies the government can put in place to preserve water catchment areas. The government can't even put strategies in place to prevent corruption. Okay, we have potholes in like on freeways and you want them to preserve river catchment areas. These are fundamental issues with South Africa, but let's dream. Let's dream. Let's just answer the question now. This is not a criticism of... The failings of you know many parties in the country not many parties there's one party in particular but look i don't want to i don't want to like you know display my political views etc etc who knows maybe you guys support maybe you, i don't know like i mean a lot of you are 18 this year or you'll be 18 next year in like the next national election like like i don't want to ask who has your vote etc etc that's very personal stuff but like have you thought about it yet? Like, do you understand South, Af South Africa's, like, socio-economic state, which, uh, which geopolitical sphere we lie in? Do you know? Do you know? Who has your vote? And don't, don't just give me some answer that's not critically thought out. Or oh, my parents vote for them. I'm going to vote for them. What do you think? What do you want? Okay. Okay, now this is a political propaganda video. Okay, let's, let's answer the question. So, suggest sustainable strategies that the government can put in place. So, one, educate the peeps. So, we want some educational programs out there. Um, not just educational programs, but like spread awareness. So, awareness, prog as well. Um, implement legislation, laws, so we can have like some kind of conservation zone. Uh, and also impose fines on anyone like disobeying these same laws that we've put into place. Um, some other ones, creating buffer zones, improving wastewater, encouraging afforestation. Nice answer there. You can use it in like varied, varied scenarios for these like sustainable strategies. Um, removing like alien vegetation, proper sewerage, frequent testing of water, conserving wetlands. Yeah, anything along those lines would have definitely scored you the mark. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I uh, hope I helped a little bit. And yeah. I, I like making these geography videos, eh? Like, it, it gives me a very interesting pleasure in life. Watch out. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.